Am I the asshole for installing cameras without telling my housemates? I, F20, live in a shared house with three other girls. I will call them Sarah, Kate, and Zoe. Kate is friends with Zoe, the rest of us aren't really friends. Whilst I'm on okay terms with Sarah and Zoe, I've never really liked Kate. We have a shared fridge, where we have a shelf for each of our stuff. I have noticed that my food and milk constantly goes missing. I see multiple times a week that a large portion of my food and milk is gone. It's unbelievably frustrating, and also very time-consuming and expensive having to buy, cook new food. I always believed it was Kate because 1. She is awake late in the night, 1 4 a.m. I am asleep then, and I tend to notice my stuff missing in the morning too. I have asked all of them about it. Sarah and Zoe both deny taking my stuff, but Kate gets all defensive and says I shouldn't accuse her when I have no proof. I was complaining about it to my friend, and he said he was in a similar situation and he got a fridge camera. I thought this was a great idea. I got one, placed it discreetly inside the fridge, and decided to wait a week. Sure enough, it was Kate, raiding my food daily. I confronted her about it, because now I had proof. I showed her the footage, told her to never do it again, and that she should repay me for what she took. She went apeshit. She said how dare I put a camera in the shared kitchen without asking the others first, and how it's so invasive to record others in their own home. I explained the camera only recorded the inside of the fridge, not the whole kitchen, but she didn't care. She has since said she'll never be able to feel safe in her own home again. Zoe has sided with her and they're both calling me a nasshole and saying I should have asked everyone first, even though this would have defeated the whole purpose. I said none of this would have happened if Kate hadn't been stealing my food and lying about it. Sarah has taken my side, so it's pretty tense in the house ATM. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Kate. How dare you procure evidence of my stealing to back off your charges? This is an outrage. Do not apologize. You should insist, to, the other roommates that Kate should apologize and pay, you, back or move out. Great advice from you, Pymanth third, below. Edit. Small typos. Not the asshole, this is normal behavior for someone caught doing something wrong by trying to deflect. From your point of view, all the other housemates denied it, so either one was lying or there was an intruder coming in, which is a real reason not to feel safe in your own home. Not the asshole she said not to accuse her without proof you got the proof she demanded. A. Kinda going with Esh. Kate. For stealing your food. For sure. Asshole slam dunk there. On the other hand. I don't think you can place a camera in someone's home without their knowledge and expect them to be chill about it. Not the asshole. You're not breaking anyone's privacy. You just wanted to see who was stealing your food. Stealing your food. Stealing your food. I feel like all three of your roommates don't really appreciate that part. What would Sarah do if stuff was missing constantly from her own room? What if Zoe's shower stuff was gone as soon as she replaced it? Shit gets expensive. Esh. Telling them about the camera would have only defeated the point if your goal were to catch the thief. If your goal were to stop the thefts, it would have worked well. Everyone sucks here you for secretly filming people in their own home without their knowledge or consent. It is creepy, immoral and, depending on where you live, potentially illegal whatever your intentions. She is the asshole for stealing your food. Esh. Yes she's stealing your food, but you also violated all of your roommate's privacy. You could have told them you were putting cameras up to see what's happening to your food, and that likely would have been enough to stop Kate. Am I the asshole for yelling at my husband for throwing out all of my diet food? I, 29F, struggled with weight my entire life. I weighed over 200 when I graduated high school and it went up during college. I did not grow up in the best family life. My parents worked crazy hours and the only food that they could feed my brother and I was junk and fast food. After I graduated from college, I decided to join a gym and eat healthier. I lost most of the weight that I gained throughout the years and plan on keeping it off. One of my friends suggested a diet plan that provides breakfast, lunch and dinner meals that are portion sized. There are also snacks and desserts that are provided. The meals come frozen, but once heated up, they are absolutely delicious. The plan is not cheap, but I do feel that a structured diet is best for me. When we go out to eat, I do order a meal that I enjoy. My husband tried one of the dinner meals and found it to be disgusting. He thinks that I am just wasting money on the food and could save money by purchasing meals from the store. I came home one evening after work and saw all my meals opened in the garbage bin. When my husband came home, I started yelling at him that he should not have thrown away good food. 
He looks at me and says I did a good thing for you. Now you can start eating regular non-processed foods. He thinks I should not have reacted the way I did, and he was only trying to help save me money. Am I the asshole for yelling at my husband for throwing out all of my diet food? Not the asshole he owes you the cost of the wasted food. Is this the only way he tries to control you? I don't want to overthink this, but where there is one controlling behavior, you can usually find a number of them. Husband. Takes perfectly good food and throws it out. Also husband. Quit wasting money. Absolutely not the asshole. Not the asshole. 1. Your body, your food, your choice. 2. Buying fresh unprocessed food from the grocery store is cheaper, partly because it takes more preparation to be ready to eat. Is he volunteering to do the cooking? 3. If he wants to save money, he should not have done it by throwing out food that was already paid for. Not the asshole. Him throwing out food as a way to save money? LMAO what a display of logic. Info. Why are you with someone who neither respects your choices nor your property? Trying to save money by throwing it in the trash? Is he an idiot? I'm not sure how you could be the asshole in this situation. I'd have set a boundary with him that if he ever does shit like this again he's the one being thrown in the trash. What an unsupportive asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. What a waste. I'd be furious. Is it possible he wants you overweight? Sounds like he has control issues. Am I the asshole for peeing in the cat tray? Okay, this is weird and I'm using a throwaway because this is so embarrassing. Me, 29F, and my partner, 25M, have been dating for three years and have lived together for one of those. We live in a small one-bedroom flat that has one bathroom with our two cats. I am a diabetic and I'm on number of medications, one of them basically flushes sugar straight through my system and can make me pee a lot. I can go from not feeling like I need to pee to if I don't pee in the next 20 minutes I'll pee myself. It comes on suddenly sometimes. My boyfriend has IBS and he can spend 40 minutes in the bathroom easily sometimes. This hasn't been a problem thus far. Today though he had a bad IBS moment and after 40 minutes locked in the bathroom I felt that I needed to pee. I figured he wouldn't be very long since he'd already been in there 40 minutes. I knocked on the door and let him know I needed to pee and ask how long he'd be. He said he'd be a few minutes. No problem. 20 minutes later, so he's been in there an hour at this point. I am kinda doing the potty dance a little and knock on the door again. He's gonna be a few more minutes. I tell him I'm not gonna be able to hold it much longer and if he could just unlock the door and I'll just hop in the shower. He says he can't get off the toilet right now. Fair enough. Another 15 minutes and my bladder is starting to hurt. And he hasn't flushed or anything yet. I figure fuck it, my bladder hurts and I'm bursting and I figured the cats would forgive me. We have two litter trays, one in the bathroom and one in a nook in the corridor. I pop a squat over the litter tray in the corridor and have a tinkle and use a kitchen towel to wipe. I then bag up the litter tray and completely refresh it. He comes out another 10 minutes later and says the bathroom's free and I tell him it's fine. He gives me a funny look and I tell him what I did. He looks at me absolutely disgusted and says that is revolting. I tell him I'd rather just refresh the litter tray which takes seconds than piss myself and have to do a ton of washing. He hasn't spoken to me all evening and he says he can't believe I would do something so gross. I tried to tell him a number of times I really needed to go and he said I should learn to hold it better. This has kinda left me feeling like I'm the asshole? Wow. That's rich, coming from a person with IBS, telling you that you should learn to hold it better. Can he hold his shit together better? Or stop shitting long enough to let you into the bathroom? That's absolutely ridiculous for him to expect of you when he knows he wouldn't be able to do the same. He has double standards. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I would have changed outfits, lied about pissing myself, shat in the litter tray, blamed it on the cats and asked him to clean it out. Not the asshole. Please, has this man never peed in a bottle before? On the side of a road? Against a public wall? Written his name in the snow? In the shower? It's not like you're peeing in the litter box is a habit that you need to overcome. It was an emergency. No doubt he has stories of his own. Not the asshole. He has IBS. If the situation were reversed he would want sympathy and I doubt he would be able to hold it for as long as you had. So you did what you had to do in the best case scenario. Not the asshole and I have a very hard time believing that after one hour in the bathroom his rectal sphincter was so destroyed he couldn't make the room for you to use the bathroom for two minutes. Even if I'm wrong and it was an untenable situation, the cat litter situation is unfortunate at worst, and highly amusing at best. 
Not the type of thing to get angry over. If you laid a giant brick in there and left it, that's something to get mad over. A bit of wee that you immediately cleaned up is such a minor thing. Not the asshole I find it more gross that he's aware of your situation and showed no empathy to it. He kept you waiting 45 minutes after saying, a few minutes, I'm sure if he really tried he could have gotten up to open the door so you could jump in the shower as you asked. Not the asshole at all. My girlfriend and I both have IBS and had a similar situation recently. I was trying to get off the toilet but she wasn't gonna make it and chose to shit in the litter rather than all over herself. When I came out of the bathroom and she told me I laughed harder than I have in years. It's still probably the funniest situation that's ever taken place under this roof. Your boyfriend needs to lighten up. Takes violent one hour shit, comes out the bathroom, looks you in the eyes. You disgust me, not the asshole this is hilarious. Am I the asshole for not giving my younger siblings anything out of my inheritance? My dad suddenly passed away. I was close to him and his only child. After my parents divorced, my mom got married to a man who was an asshat. He always bullied me for playing video games, and because I'm fat, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I moved in with my dad at 10. I'm in college now, and the money and house will come to me soon. My mom wants me to split it with my two soon-to-be three younger siblings. He wasn't their father, and their dad made my life living hell. I was at my lowest when living with him. I'm no longer close to any of them. My grandma keeps saying a little something won't hurt me financially, but I don't want any of them thinking they can ask me for money in the future, so I'm saying no. Not the asshole op. If I can offer advice, put the money in a trust. This helps you avoid paying a large amount of tax right out of the gate. Rely on the executor of a state, POA that your father named to set that up for you. Not only is a great idea for you financially, it also legit allows you to say that, it's out of my hands. Honor your father's wishes. I am very sorry for your loss. Not the asshole never give them a cent. It is from your father, not theirs, they can get money from their own dad. Not the asshole. You would be setting a dangerous precedent if you gave in to them, and I think you're already aware of that. They are not his children and he had no reason to leave them anything. That inheritance is yours and they cannot reasonably expect to have access to it. The fact that they have resorted to guilting you shows that they know they're being unreasonable. That inheritance is yours. Your father had no obligation to leave anything to children that aren't even his. So sorry for your loss, and even more sorry for the fact that it brought out the worst in your family. Not the asshole. Grandma could give them a little something since it won't hurt. He isn't their dad and you're just being emotionally manipulated by your mom who is probably being put up to it by her husband. If you'd been close to them and wanted to help them that would be different but these people are insane to think you owe anything. Best believe if the tables were turned you wouldn't get anything from your mother's husband. Your dad left that money to you. Fuck what your family says, tell them to go pound sand. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, keep it all, it was meant for you. They have zero claim to it. Asshole stepfather will leave everything he has to his kids. Not the asshole. You laid out your thought process and it's completely reasonable. This is about you and your dad. Did your dad have a close relationship with any of your siblings? Not the asshole. They have a dad and it's his job to provide for them, not your dad's and definitely not yours.